Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic reversal update Wednesday, August 27th, around 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. Don't miss Mars's close to the slender crescent moon at sunset tonight. Well, that was actually yesterday. We also have a fall-like pattern descending on us, so buckle up, buttercup, and keep calm. It's boom time. Holy macaroni. Fall-like chill continues in northeast Ohio with record low temperatures possible. Holy macaroni. Take a look at the low temperature record set on August 25th, just a few days ago. It's going to be chilly uh, east of the Mississippi. Take a look at TornadoHQ.com live severe weather map. We've got two severe weather warnings, Oklahoma and Kansas. Not much going on over the U.S., which is good news. And because of those rains in the West, take a look at fire and smoke map. Holy macaroni. It is all quiet across the Western Front. What's going on here? We also have another resource we want, to, want you to check out. It's watchduty.org. And this gives you some of the most updated uh, wildfire alerts across North America. So go get it. And now the full forecast. Areas of heavy to excessive rainfall, which may bring flooding. Monsoon moisture will continue to produce areas of heavy to excessive rainfall and possible flooding across the northern intermontane west today. Debris flows will be possible over recent wildfire burn scars. Heavy to excessive rainfall and flash flooding will be possible across the central Rockies into the south central plains and the lower Mississippi Valley through Thursday. So heed the warnings, click on your county and go to weather.gov for updates. Here you can see we're looking at the temperature anomaly, that cool weather. This is Wednesday, August 27th. And that purple region is, yeah, that's 10 to 20 degrees below normal. So here is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, fun day. It's going to be cool in the east. Record cold in many regions all the way through the beginning of September. And another plume will come in from Canada here at the beginning of September 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. You can see what we're dealing with. It's going to be record cold in North America. And will we have Indian summer? Well, maybe mid-September here for the East Coast. But it's going to be certainly something to look at. Seismic update. Look at this map. There's like nothing going on. So low level activity worldwide. Worldwide Volcano News. The whole thing is such a mess over here at Worldwide Volcano News. They keep posting all these daily updates on these volcanoes, which mean nothing. So it's really hard to get through the data here. But we do have Semadu, who knew? Now you do, 15,000 foot blast there. Medapi, puffing and passing 12,000 feet. Dukono, volcanic ash reported. Kadimsky, volcanic ash is not identifiable. Why would they put that up there? I don't know. And then they've got this list of nothingness, which goes and goes and goes. Okay, Sakonajima, 9,000 foot puff today. Liwatobi to 7,000 feet. And then nonsense. Santa Cuito to 14,000. Fuego to 14,000. Samadu, who knew? Now you do. Eruption was reported. Some blank space here. Swanahima, 6,000 foot puff there. Ibu, puffing and passing as well today. Liwotolo, volcano, 6,000 foot puff there. San to 22,000 feet. Dukono, puffing and passing as well. And then... Just a bunch of garbage here. <laughs> Thank you, Worldwide Volcano News, for all of the noise. Look at this. Sukunajima! Banging a 10,000 foot blast there. Libatobi to 8,000. Ibu puffing and passing as well. We've got Swanathima to 8,000 feet. Kirishima! Is that 23,000? Holy crap. That's a big one. Uh, 
we just can't make news of this. Bagana to 7,000 feet today. Fuego, volcanic ash emissions. White Island to 5,000. And wrapping up the list is Semeru to 15,000 feet. Quick look at space weather. We've got tons of sunspots. Look at this. Holy macaroni. That is a lot of sunspots and very little flaring. That's because we are dropping down into solar minimum. So the sun is going quiet. Three-day geomagnetic forecast is all dead. And we're all safe here on the surface. Don't miss the Mars close to the slender crescent moon at sunset. Well, that was a few nights ago. The crescent moon will be positioned close to Mars. And, well, that already happened. I apologize. We had to scrub last night's update because... Leah is recovering, and we've got a lot to do here around the ranch. SpaceX troubled Starship prototype pulls off a successful flight after months of explosive mishaps. Yeah, this is good news for Elon Musk. Bad news for astronauts that are going to, well, lose their life if they actually try to get to Mars. So that's all we have to say there. A 146,000-year-old skull upends human evolutionary story. Yeah, we are closer related to Denisovans than Neanderthals, according to the discovery. But as Lee and I have been saying, we're all the same species. You know what? You can learn more over at Quite Frankly. Just had a great interview over here at Quite Frankly. Um, a good friend of ours, Planets and Chaos, Life on Mars, Open Lines, featuring Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Check it out. We've got 2,000 views in just the last hour. Uh, support, quite frankly. Subscribe to his channel and leave a comment on the video. It was a great show. Take a look. We'll give you some updates. We're in New York, which, you know, whenever I, 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 I know I feel something, I tweet about it, there's usually one person saying, oh, 3.0 is not an earthquake. Get over yourself. Yeah, so go check out, quite frankly, and the uh, podcast we did tonight. I think it's spectacular. I really appreciate that guy. He is a good man. And we're, we're, Lee and I are going to be doing more stuff over there really soon. And speaking of Willie Soon, Willie Soon will be in Crestone. And uh, many people will be talking about the Johnson Sioux bioreactor. If you want nutritionally complete food, if you're a permaculture enthusiast, look into making your own Johnson Sioux composting bioreactor. It's that simple. Here is the video. We're going to leave you links, and it could literally save your life. And join us at the 36th annual Crestone Energy Fair in just the next two weeks. Nurturing Resilience. It's a three-day event. It's absolutely spectacular. And, well, if you've never been uh, here, this is a chance of a lifetime. It's bucket list stuff. You're going to meet thousands of like-minded people in the same place. We're all working for the same goal, self-sufficiency, uh, clean food, and healthy environments. It's that simple. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up. Share this video with like-minded people and subscribe to the channel now. We're trying to get to 100,000 subs by the end of the year. We need your help. Do it now and do, and do a dab. Be safe. We love you. And that's a boom. Mm -hmm.